In Lectures on the English Poets, William Hazlitt delivers a profound analysis of poetry, poets, and the essence of literary creation. Hazlitt's work, consisting of a series of lectures delivered in the early 19th century, remains a cornerstone in the study of English literature due to its insightful commentary on the nature of poetic genius and its exploration of various poets and their works. One of Hazlitt's central themes is the idea of poetry as a reflection of the poet's individual experience and emotions. He argues that great poetry emerges from a deep connection between the poet's inner world and the external reality they inhabit. According to Hazlitt, poets possess a unique sensitivity that allows them to perceive and articulate the beauty and significance of the world around them. Through their verse, poets communicate their personal vision and offer insights into the human condition. Hazlitt's analysis extends beyond individual poets to encompass broader movements and trends within English poetry. He discusses the Romantic poets, such as Wordsworth and Coleridge, who rejected the artificiality of the neoclassical tradition in favor of a more authentic expression of emotion and imagination. Hazlitt celebrates the Romantics' exploration of nature, their fascination with the supernatural, and their revolutionary approach to poetic form and language. In addition to praising the Romantics, Hazlitt offers critical assessments of other poets and poetic movements. He discusses the wit and satire of Alexander Pope, the lyrical beauty of John Milton's verse, and the dramatic intensity of Shakespeare's plays. Hazlitt's critiques are characterized by their depth and nuance, as he considers each poet's strengths and weaknesses within the context of their historical and literary significance. Throughout his lectures, Hazlitt emphasizes the importance of individuality and originality in poetry. He argues that great poets are those who dare to defy convention and express their unique perspective without fear of censure or ridicule. Hazlitt admires poets who are unafraid to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of artistic expression. He sees poetry as a form of rebellion against the constraints of society, a means of asserting one's identity and asserting the power of the imagination. Hazlitt's own prose style reflects his passion for poetry and his belief in the transformative power of literature. His lectures are marked by their eloquence, insight, and emotional intensity. Hazlitt's language is rich and evocative, drawing readers into the world of the poets he discusses and inviting them to share in his enthusiasm for their work. In conclusion, Lectures on the English Poets stands as a testament to Hazlitt's enduring influence on the study of English literature. His analysis of poetry and poets remains relevant and insightful, offering readers a deeper understanding of the creative process and the enduring power of literary expression. Hazlitt's lectures are a celebration of the diversity and vitality of English poetry, as well as a reminder of the importance of art in shaping our understanding of the world.